Uh, fish tank TVs. Those things are just so stupid. Straight ninja with this shit, man. Straight ninja. So, well, I guess they're not that bad. Some of them are kind of neat. That settles it. I need to make my own fish tank TV. Time to check Craigslist, see what they've got. $325? Are you freaking nuts? Ah, here we go. 20 bucks. That's more like it. Oh. Check out the inside of the back of this TV. All this stuff's got to come out. Haven't figured out exactly what I'm going to do for the aquarium yet. Switches are going to be tricky. A bunch of pots. I'm hoping the TV has some nice old school on off buttons. I'd like to use that for the lighting. If I can figure out how to light, find a way to incorporate that to the lighting. But we'll see how it goes. Hey people, check it out. So I've gutted the TV now. The TV is out. Next out, we got an empty set. And I got the TV over here, the screen. Isn't it weird to look at it outside of the case? I'm gonna see if I can maybe cut that front off and make a front of the aquarium. Hey guys, wanna do a quick overview before we move the TV tank into into this inside because we're ready okay so let's get a look at this tank I have done DIY from start to finish I have made a plywood aquarium insert I have done DIY lighting I have done a DIY canister filter out of a PVC uh, four inch PVC pipe I have my air hose here so that I can go in, it comes around, there'll be a sand waterfall coming out of the skull's mouth. Well, we have out of the, you can see in the back here, you have the PVC, it's a four inch PVC, I painted it black because I like to look black. The water comes out in, water comes out to this little pump, it goes back in through this PVC, around and back into the tank right there. You can see the little uh, spray bar that I made out of some PVC pipes and a bulkhead. And the main attraction, this TV tank has a TV in it. How cool is that? So I found this old Dell monitor sitting around in my, sitting around in, in my garage. And I thought, hmm, what would be more cool than having a TV tank that you could actually watch TV on? So, to hook it up, I found this little converter box because the Dell monitor was only a VGA input on it and I thought I would use a Chromecast. The Chromecast only has an HDMI out, so I needed to convert it from HDMI to VGA for the monitor. In addition to that, the uh, the converter has an audio output, so I can go to a speaker. Now, I just use an old computer speaker so that I can turn it on and off. But the sound, I actually put a new speaker in the TV where this TV used to have a speaker at. Can't really see it. And so the sound actually plays out of the front of the TV just like it would have normally. For my DIY lighting, I wanted to use the original switch. So, well, I guess I shut it off, but you can turn, hit this switch and the lights turn on and off, but I'll be showing that when I move it into the living room. 